Welcome, viewers, to the first ever Z Tractor Talent and Dance Show. Our judges today are Zizi, Fernando, Rihanna, and Hippo. Hi, Grandpa Zizi. Who is the first act? The Counts. He'll be back later. The crowd is going wild. Judges, what do you think? Did the cows do well? The winner gets to ride on the big red shiny tractor. So, how did the cows do? Let's see what the judges think. Not bad. Who's next? The dancing donkeys. As good as the cows, but a big watermelon from Hippo. Oh dear, mixed feelings amongst the judges. Quickly, who's the next act, Grandpa? Comedy ducks? Interesting. The judges do look a little curious. Okay, I think they're starting. <laughs> Well, that was different. <laughs> Judges, what's the verdict? Well, at least they got an apple. A chicken? I love chickens. I bet this is a magic act. I wonder what she's going to do. Wow, that is magic. Judges? Hippo is proving very hard to please. So, who do you think's won? Who won? The cows, the ducks, the donkeys, or the chickens? Grandpa, you won! And you get to ride your shiny red tractor around the farm. Wow! The cow's back! Where is Zizi? Aha! Zizi, how come you're the sheriff? Aha, of course! With your keen sense of smell, you can smell danger from far away! That makes you the perfect sheriff! There's no trouble when you're around! Hey Hippo! Are you Zizi's deputy? Hmm... You help Zizi with your sense of taste and your hungry belly! What is it, Zizi? Can you smell trouble? Zizi, is Fernando in any danger? Ugh. Hmm, Fernando's stinky socks. Smells dangerously bad, but no trouble here, I see. Hippo, is there any danger in that cup of hot chocolate? What is it, Zizi? Can you smell trouble? Zizi, is Mouse in any danger? 
Hmm, onions do smell seriously bad. No trouble here then, Hippo. What is it, Zizi? More trouble? Zizi, any danger here? Hippo, Zizi, how dangerous are those croissants? <laughs> Zizi, the only dangerous thing in this town is Hippo's appetite. Oh, Zizi, do you smell danger? Zizi and Hippo, did you manage to keep everyone safe? What's that, Hippo? Do you want to play the smelling game? Come on, Zizi, let's play Good Smell, Bad Smell. Great! Hippo, let's start. Good smell or bad smell? Okay, onions do have a bad smell. Next one, Hippo. Nice! Pies do have a delicious smell. What's next, Hippo? That's a very nice smell. Ah, uh -huh. see you next time. Bye bye. It looks like you've been having fun! It's going to be night time soon. The sun is going to bed and then the stars and the moon will come out. There's the moon! It's big and round just like your ball, Rihanna. And it almost looks close enough to touch. But the moon is a long way away. What are you doing, Zizi? Are you going to try and jump over the moon? Nice one, Zizi. Hippo, how about you go under the moon? Good job, Hippo. Rihanna, how about you try running through the moon? That looked amazing, Rihanna. Fernando, <laughs> maybe you should try jumping over the moon. You made it look so easy. You're a born star. Speaking of stars, if you all look up, what can you see? The stars are like diamonds in the sky. It's great making shapes by joining up the stars, just like dot to dot. It's easy. Can you make a shape? You've drawn a circle. Now, what stars can you join up? Hippo, you've drawn a slice of pizza. You're always thinking with your tummy. <laughs> Rihanna, have you found any good stars to join together? A diamond, that's great to work. Now it's your turn, Fernando. Fernando, what a star! It looks like our friend, Little Star. Zizi, let's find him and see if he knows his shapes. Hi, Zizi. Hello, Little Star. Let's draw some more shapes. Zizi, grab the stick, draw some shapes, and we'll guess what they are. That's a circle, Zizi, just like the full moon. What else can you draw, Zizi? Ah, a diamond, just like stars in the sky. What's wrong, little star? I see. Zizi, can you draw a little star? <laughs> That's the right shape. You're both stars. See you next time. Bye bye.
Ooh. Hi, Shish. You look like you need a trim for the long summer ahead. Hello, Zizi the barber. Nice work on Leo the lion. Just a trim today. Ah, you'd like to look just like Leo. Well, that's different. Hmm, perhaps something less exotic? Shish, it's summer! Wouldn't you feel more cool with a shorter cut? Great Shish! You look like a hound dog! And that's much cooler for the summer! Okay, okay! Zizi, short back and sides! Quick! What do you think? Zizi, back to the drawing board. <laughs> you look great! Very cool and ready for the summer! Great work, Hippo! You've swept up all Shish's wool! Shish, what could you do with all that coloured wool? Great idea! Go and give everyone your wool! You look great with your new haircut! You were an amazing barber! Do you think Shish is pleased? Shish has so many coloured balls of wool! Which one do you think Shish will bring first? This wool is green! This one's purple. And this one is red. You see, Shish's wool is very warm. And you can make woolly sweatshirts with the wool to keep you warm. Wow, isn't it lucky we all have such thoughtful friends? See you all next time. Bye bye. Well, this is strange. Where is everybody? One, two, three, four, and that makes five. It's D, the dinosaur. It looks like it wants to play. I wonder if it knows any tricks. Sit. Turn around. What a lovely pirouette. Roll over. <laughs> well done! Can it fetch? Wow! Look at that bone fly! It landed in some clay! That was a mighty throw, Zizi! I wonder if we could use the clay to make something! Hippo, you've made a shape. A triangle. Can anyone else make a shape? Rihanna's made a rectangle. Fernando, you've made a bone. <laughs> Very good. And you created a shape, Zizi. What is it? A circle. I think D wants to play fetch again. What was that noise? Ah, it's Grandpa. Did 
you have an accident, Grandpa? He's building something. It's your new invention. Isn't it missing something? It needs wheels. Hmm, what shape would be good for a wheel? Hippo, Rihanna, Fernando and Zizi. Quickly, get your shapes and let's see if they'd be any good as wheels. And Zizi, you never know. The circle might be just right. Zizi, let's see if we can help Grandpa find the right shape. The dinosaur can fetch them. Go fetch, Dee. What's that shape? Would it be good as a wheel? No, that will not make a good wheel. What shape is this? Could it be good for a wheel? A triangle? I don't think so. What shape's this? Could it be good for a wheel? A circle? Oh, that would be the perfect shape for a wheel. What's that? It's Grandpa driving his car. Look at them go in his shiny new wheels. Well done, Grandpa. so you can have some yummy cakes. There sure are lots of them with many different shapes and sizes. Yum, yum, yum. What's that noise? Ah, it's Fernando. What a spectacular entry, Fernando. What's that noise? Is that Grandpa's tractor? with his new wheels. Hi, Hippo. Yes, Hippo, so many cakes to choose from. Square cakes, triangular cakes, rectangle cakes, and circle cakes. Lots of yummy circle cakes. You're right, Fernando. Your skateboard wheels are circles. What other shapes can you see in those yummy, yummy cakes, Hippo? of shapes let's see what other shapes we can see we're on shape street after all find more shapes guys find more shapes that's right ZZ this pavement is made of squares well done, Hippo! You have spotted brightly coloured doors. They're rectangles. Oh no! Fernando! Zizi, Hippo, go and check on him. Are you okay, Fernando? Ah, oh, yes! But you really should look where you're going. At least you've spotted a triangle. They're often used as street signs. Lots of rectangles on that zebra crossing. That's right, Zizi. The zebra crossing is named after you because you have the same colours. Zebra crossings are used for safely crossing the road. I bet you're all hungry after all the sheep spotting. Is the bakery open yet? Rihanna, you've opened the bakery. Zizi, shall we see how good you are with shapes? Zizi, what shape is this cake? One, two, three, four equal sides. A square. Fernando, what shape is your cake? One, two, three. Great, Fernando. A triangle has three sides. Hippo, what 
What shape have you got? Hippo, I hope circles taste good too. I hope you enjoyed your time on Shape Street. See you next time. Bye bye. Everyone, what are you all doing? Wow, that looks like. Oh, you went to Egypt to meet the president! And you're building the great pyramids of Zizi and Rihanna. Nice! If only the ancient Egyptians had you two, their job would have been so much easier. Hippo, it's almost lunchtime. Shish. Is that a rocket? Are you planning to go to the moon? Ah, oh, you went to Paris and had lunch with the president. And you're building the Eiffel Tower. It's taller than you, Shish. The tower, I mean. The baguette is looking much shorter now. Hmm. Fernando, what are you building? It's not very straight. Of course, you met the Prime Minister of Italy next to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Hippo, it does sound a bit like pizza, but I meant Pisa, a famous town in Italy. Hippo, you do know that pizza comes from Italy. Have you all been to visit famous places and meet important people? Hattie, did you go anywhere? Wow, where did she go? Zizi, do you know? How about you get the globe and show us where everyone has travelled to? Wow, that's a big globe. Show us where everyone's been. Go on, Zizi. Give it a spin. Giza is in Egypt, where we can find the pyramids. Zizi and Rihanna went to the pyramids. Paris in France is where you can find the Eiffel Tower. Hippo and Shish went to the Eiffel Tower. Where else did they go? Pisa is in Italy, where you can find the leaning tower of Pisa. Fernando, shouldn't the tower be leaning? That's much better. London, England. Who went to London? Hattie, did you go to London to visit the Queen? Did you take her crown? I don't think she's going to be very happy about that. Uh-oh. See you next time. Chickens, time to wake up! I wonder why it's going so fast! Hi Zizi! Hey Hippo! I see you're eating breakfast! The first meal of the day! 
Look, the chicken is back. An egg. A chick will hatch from it. Yes, a chicken lays an egg. And then a chick hatches out of it. And where did that chicken come from? From an egg. And where did that egg come from? From a chicken. Ah, I see. What comes first? The chicken or the egg? Hippo, do you know what comes first? Yes, Hippo, breakfast comes first. Then lunch. Then dinner. That's right. And we know that number one comes before two. And we know that number two comes before three. One, two, three. We also know the letter A comes before... No, easy. A comes before the letter B in the alphabet. That's right, Hippo. B is for butterfly. And B comes before the letter... No, easy. C comes after B. C is for candy. You do know that Z comes much, much later. Okay, follow the butterfly. It will show you all the letters of the alphabet and where you can find Z for ZZ. Okay, ZZ, did you find where the letter Z comes? That is a lovely big Z, but it is still the last letter of the alphabet. ZZ, we can't change what comes first. The letter Z comes last, while the letter A always comes first. But Z is the first letter of your name. We learnt that breakfast is the first meal of the day. Then lunch, then dinner. That's right. We also learnt that first comes number one, and then the number two. And after number two comes three. But what comes first? The chicken or the egg? Hello everyone, what are you doing? A sleepover? It's getting late. Have you all brushed your teeth? Grandpa Zizi will be coming soon to switch off the light. So you'd all better hurry. Good Zizi, you should always clean your teeth after dinner. Hippo, did you have a good dinner? Then keep on brushing. Shish, did you have dinner? Shish, what did you eat? Chocolate? Hmm, you might have a problem getting to sleep. Come on, let's get ready for bed. Good night, sweet dreams. Oh dear. Shish may well have a few problems falling asleep. Shish, did you know that counting sheep can help you fall asleep? Okay, let's start. One. Sheep? Well, that didn't work. That's a good point. Shish, if you fall asleep, you will have a lovely dream. We don't know what your dream will be about. Zizi, what do you dream about? You see, Shish? Zizi loves being outside, so she might have a dream about flowers. Hippo, can you tell us about one of your dreams? Hippo dreams of winning a race. Shish, think about it like this. 
dreams come to you when you fall asleep. It's like watching your own favorite TV show where you are the star. Yes, like Grandpa Zizi's TV, which he watches before going to bed. No, shish! I didn't mean go and watch TV with Grandpa Zizi. Zizi, Hippo, go get him back! And Zizi, please bring Shish back so we can all go to sleep. Okay, let's try putting Shish to sleep by counting sheep. Shish, are you ready to count? How many sheep can you see? One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Zizi. It looks like you've been having fun! It's going to be night time soon. The sun is going to bed and then the stars and the moon will come out. There's the moon! It's big and round just like your ball, Rihanna, and it almost looks close enough to touch. But the moon is a long way away. What are you doing, Zizi? Are you going to try and jump over the moon? Nice one, Zizi. Hippo, how about you go under the moon? Good job, Hippo. Rihanna, how about you try running through the moon? That looked amazing, Rihanna. Fernando, <laughs> maybe you should try jumping over the moon. You made it look so easy. You're a born star. Speaking of stars, if you all look up, what can you see? The stars are like diamonds in the sky. It's great making shapes by joining up the stars, just like dot to dot. It's easy. Can you make a shape? You've drawn a circle. Now, what stars can you join up? Hippo, you've drawn a slice of pizza. You're always thinking with your tummy. <laughs> Rihanna, have you found any good stars to join together? A diamond. That's great to work. Now it's your turn, Fernando. Fernando, what a star! It looks like our friend, Little Star. Zizi, let's find him and see if he knows his shapes.
Hello, little star. Let's draw some more shapes. Zizi. Grab the stick, draw some shapes, and we'll guess what they are. That's a circle, Zizi, just like the full moon. What else can you draw, Zizi? Ah, a diamond, just like stars in the sky. What's wrong, little star? I see. Zizi, can you draw a little star? <laughs> That's the right shape. You're both stars. See you next time. Bye-bye. There she is! Hey Zizi! It's very bright today! Cool shades! It's a lovely day, Rihanna! Do you want to play outside? Oh, you need to water your plants! And it looks like it might rain. <laughs> Do you want to play shish? You're busy writing your book. <sighs> and the rain clouds have come back. Sorry, Zizi. <laughs> Well done, Zizi! <laughs> Fernando! Do you want to come outside? You'd love to! But you've got some thinking to do. What about? <laughs> Won't anyone come out and play today? Would you like to play outside? You will! Right after you've read the last page of your book! That's one very long page! I think it's time we all went outside! Maybe we should take our umbrellas! Just in case it rains! Hey Zizi! You've finished playing with Hippo! And we learnt all about the weather. Clouds can block the sun. And bring rain. What is Zizi up to? Well done, Zizi. Bye bye.
Zizi. What brings you here? You're getting ready for the big show. Look, it's the famous theatre critic, Reporter Duck. Is everything ready? You've made a checklist. Very clever, Zizi. So, what's first? Props. Check. Decorations, check. What about the music? Check. Check. This is going really well. What's next? <coughs> What's wrong, Rihanna? <coughs> Looks like Leo wants the lead role. <laughs> Rihanna wants a dance solo. Oh no! Duck is starting to get bored! The hippo wants a costume that fits! And where is Fernando? There he is! Start the show and see what Duck says. Wow, what a great show! Did you have fun, Zizi? And Duck? Mm. We had a great show with lots of singing and dancing. And then the audience clapped. Can anybody tell me what we clap with? Do you know? That's right, we clap with our hands. And what do we dance with? That's right! Our feet! Excellent dancing, Zizi! And what do we sing with? That's right! Our voices! And well done, everyone! And well done, Zizi, for putting on a great show! <laughs> See you next time! Bye bye! <laughs> Hello everyone! Juggling is very hard, Zizi. Ah, the balls will always fall to the ground because of gravity. What is gravity? Gravity is an invisible force that keeps your feet on the ground. Okay, Zizi, now give a ball to each of your friends. Now, all of you stretch your arms out straight, holding the balls. And now, let the balls go. Gravity is like a magnet. It pulls the balls down to the ground all at the same time. Hmm. Okay, try this. Jump as high as you can and you'll always come back down. Yes, Hippo, but Fernando is flying, not jumping. Fernando, can you stop flapping your wings? That's gravity. I know a place where you can jump very high and there's very little gravity. The moon, where Alan the alien lives. It's easy, you can't just go to the moon. You'll need 
to have a rocket. Hmm, what is she doing? What's that? You built a rocket so you can ask Alan about gravity on the moon. You built the biggest rocket ever. Okay then, grab your helmets. We're going to the moon to get Alan. And Hippo. Maybe bring some food. It's a long journey. Zizi, you're back and you're juggling so well. Sorry, Zizi. <laughs> Did you see Alan the alien? Did you learn all about gravity? Gravity is like a magnet that keeps you on the ground. Hello, Alan the alien. Oh dear, you are much heavier on Earth than you are on the moon. That's right, Zizi. Maybe he could fly. Look, Fernando is flying. But if he stops... You see, that's gravity. Very good, Zizi. You get it now. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hippo, looking good there. Are you about to start your daily workout? What are you going to do first? Skipping. That's a very good warm up. Zizi, you're doing great. Hippo, do you want to try? Wow, and you didn't even break a sweat. What now? Weightlifting? That makes you very strong. Rihanna is very strong. Hippo, that was amazing! Now what? Stretching! Hmm, that's very good for your muscles. You guys are so good! What's next? The trampoline! That's great exercise and fun! Croc, that's great! Hippo, go on, give it a go! Hippo, that is amazing! Zizi, how about one more exercise before the end of the day? Maybe some aerobics. Hippo, surely you'd be up for a few more exercises. I don't think she'll take no for an answer, Hippo. Zizi, Hippo, did you enjoy the aerobics class? It fills you with energy. Exercising is fun. Let's take a look back at what we've done. Zizi did some skipping. Lifting weights. Stretching. And we all jumped on the trampoline. And we finished off with some aerobics. And now you should have something to eat. Great! 
great! You'll have lots of energy tomorrow to do more exercises! Bye-bye! Can you see through your telescope? Nothing? Well, try with just one eye open. It's lovely and calm out at sea, isn't it, Z? Where did that noise come from? Look, it's all our friends on a boat. Shall we go aboard? Hello, Captain Zizi. What a lovely boat. Perfect for sailing on the sea. Fernando, ahoy! All quiet on deck, Rihanna. So that's what that noise was. Hippo, did you bring some snacks? What a good idea! Hippo! That's right, Zizi. Stealing is bad. Hmm, he seems to be a dancer. Did you frighten him away? <laughs> what a strange bird. I wonder whether we'll see any more. I wonder what we're going to see when we set sail. Waves! Very good, Zizi. A dolphin? They're my favourites! A whale? I hope we see one of those. A turtle? That'll be great! I know, let's play a game. What can you see? Ready, Zizi? Let's start! How many seagulls can you see? One Two Three One, two, three! Well done, everyone! Hey, Hippo! You've got some more food! Seagulls. <laughs> See you all next time. Bye bye. 